All right, so I got my uncle here with a classic air gun. What is this? Tell everybody what this is. This is a 1966 Sheridan five millimeter. It pump, says pump Pelican. It says Racine, Wisconsin. Made in Wisconsin. Yeah. It's a five millimeter. Five millimeter, so 20 caliber. That's a pretty big pellet. Matter of fact, yeah. you got one in your hand right here. You know, this is the 20 caliber. This is the 22 caliber. Oh, okay. This so is not the much... one, 1775 caliber. Oh, good, good representation of how different these things are. So it's in the middle. Yeah. It's been restored. New seals. Oh, you put new seals. And you put, I put oil right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many pumps does it take? 10 pumps uh -huh. and it's 1200 foot per second with 10 Woo! pumps. That's crazy. And it's everything inside is redone. Uh -huh. So you took it apart, redid everything, the seals, you even did the wood too, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I stripped nice. the wood and revarnished it. That's nice. And stained it. Used walnut stain instead of mahogany. That's nice. Because it's a walnut stock. Sure. And they used wa uh, mahogany stain. Uh -huh. why, in the hell, why would you use mahogany stain on walnut? Yeah, it doesn't and make so sense. I got uh, vintage black walnut stain. Mm -hmm. And I stained it and then I varnished it. It looks pretty dang sexy. Yeah. And this yeah. one everything works yeah the seals i think i put 25 to 30 dollars yeah. into yeah. the seals i had to order them mm -hmm. and then uh i put new pins in because the pins when i pushed them through they broke mm -hmm. so i put new pins so i invested maybe 50 bucks into yeah. the whole thing yeah because i i just barely used the stain and uh I kept the stain to put it on other things. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and then the uh, I didn't varnish it. It's it's clean. It's done with uh, linseed oil, stained, yeah. and then just rubbed down with a lot of linseed oil. And, yeah. And then uh, that's it. It's nice. That's why the the it's still open grain. Uh, it's open grain because I didn't use varnish. Nice. And linseed oil is the old way. Ask your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Look at the sights too. They got a single blade up front with uh, looks like an elevation adjustment yeah. on the back. That's and cool. And all this stuff is what came with it. Mm -hmm. Which I always thought that that was going to get in the way when I was taking it <laughs> apart. Yeah. And then when you look through it, it's like... It really doesn't. No, huh? it ain't. It's below that spot. It's pretty accurate too? Yeah. yeah. Well, I popped that that uh, that that gopher yeah. in the back of the head, <laughs> and then I got another one in the back of the head, and then I found out that I didn't miss the first one, <laughs> which I thought I did, yeah. and uh, I ran back in the house, pumped it up, mm -hmm. and loaded and shot it again. There you go. And then I found I looked in the hole, and there it was, two gophers. <laughs> two gophers. <laughs> It's a bolt action, basically. You load one at a time. Yeah, it's a single shot bolt action. You slide it close. Slide it in. Lock it. lock it up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pumps. Oh, jeez. Go in. There it is. Oh, wow, look at that. I think I'll do some damage to a bird, huh? It sure did some damage to a gopher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how much uh, did you buy it for originally? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. <laughs> and if you sold it on Craigslist right now, or maybe I the what? Sell it for two, three hundred dollars. A couple, easy. yeah, a couple hundred bucks for sure. Yeah, yeah. easy. Because of it, for one, it's just vintage. It's a sixty. What was it? Sixty-six. A sixty-six. You don't see a lot of these anymore. They're usually broken. And they're usually busted. And busted. Or yeah. Bent.